you. Okay. Oregon Grapevine Radio broadcasting today from the Carlton Crush Harvest Festival going on Lower Park in Carlton. We are enjoying every split second of this and uh, been interviewing wineries and vineyard owners and winemakers. And uh, back with us again, uh, we interviewed them a little while ago. I interviewed Ben a little while ago. And I promised we would talk about Budacat and the name and what is all about, what is this Budacat thing. And with me is Lori, the founder of Budacat, right? Yes, I, yeah, I founded Budacat about seven years ago. So. Okay, about seven years ago. So, and obviously, enormously successful and you've got some amazing sweet wines going on and Ben told us a little bit about those earlier on but um, and I want to cover a few of these um, products here in just a second but um, Buddha cat there's got to be a story behind that well, not too much of one but I have a couple of really fat old Siamese cats and uh, they were always my Buddha babies my daughters have always called them that and so when we started the winery, the the girls said, "Hey, you need to call it Buddha Cat Winery," and I was like, "No, I can't. <laughs> That's too much of a name." And then I was like, "Yeah, actually, that sounds really good." So we decided to call it Buddha Cat Winery after the old cats and sort of our philosophy of life too. So. Okay, so it's obviously worked out pretty well for you, and I'm sure you have been asked the question countless times, right? Right, and but there's a lot of cat lovers out there, and they love our labels, and they love our wine, and so, yeah, right. they've been very supportive. So let's look at these labels for a minute. Uh, if we can pan down here, here's just a few of the products that uh, are involved here at Buddha Cat. So you've got, these are all sweet wines. To be on the sweeter side, they're made with just those particular fruits. So our blackberry is a mix of blackberry and marionberry, or our cherry is a, a bunch of just sour cherries. We just ferment that. And so a lot of fruit wines are made with grapes as well as the fruit, and ours is just purely that fruit. So. Okay, and there's uh, every one of them has a cat on there. There's different kinds of cats. Um, so if you like cats, hey, this is the place to be. My wife loves cats. So do I. Um so, how did you learn how to make the perfect sweet wine? Uh, well, that's been pretty hard in the lots of years of practice. I was pretty popular in high school because I could make wine. So, <laughs> that, that was it. But I uh, spent most of my life as a geologist and uh, just made wine on the side. And you just experiment and play with it and kind of perfect your recipes. And after a while, you get where everybody starts really liking what you're making. So... And then, you say, I think I'm onto something here. And uh, we moved down to Oregon. And there was an older winery for sale, and I jumped right into owning it. And and uh, they were a fruit wine making uh, winery, and and so I just continued that. And uh, yeah, and it's been pretty good for us. So. What's an average day for you look like? Uh, well, it depends. Uh, so most of the time during. I make wine all year long as opposed to just when the grapes come in because we can get fruit all year long. And like the rhubarb starts in April and May and then we run into the blackberries and stuff. So unlike other winemakers that get some time off, uh, I make wine all year long. And uh, yeah, it's basically... Yeah, either are crushing berries or making the, letting those ferment and then pressing them and doing everything you would normally do with uh, grape wines. But yeah, it's a lot of work, but it's fun. So. It's a labor of love, right? It is. It, it has to be. You have to love what you're doing. So, Absolutely. Two locations, one in Seaside and one in Sandy, yes. right? Yeah, Sandy is the main winery, and then uh, we also have a location in Seaside that's a tasting room downtown. And do you have a wine club? Uh, no, we don't. We, uh, we've we tried it a couple of times, and we just never kind of caught on to it. And, but we do have loyalty programs and things like that for our member, for people who come by all the time. So, yeah. Well, Lori, thank you so much for your time. Appreciate uh, you taking a few minutes with us today, and the best to you. And looking forward to tasting some more of these dessert wines and sweet wines down the road. So, thank you. Thank you. We've been having a great time here at the Carlton Crush. So, Carlton Crush 2018, the Harvest Festival going on still till nine o'clock tonight. There's still time to come out and enjoy all the fun, festivities, food, wine, beer, music, and uh, just wonderful weather. It's a great time. Come on out. Thanks. Radio.